everybody, it's me Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field, the 432 Hertz, the universal frequency. So today, I'm going to go into opening the subconscious mind, uh, which is synonymous with opening up the Ajna and the third eye or the third eye chakra, um, and also opening up the crown and uh, integrating the unconscious into the conscious. So let's get into this. Um, so opening up the subconscious mind is a very, very simple process. It's not um, difficult at all, right? And it's not a complex process at, uh, at that. It's, uh, it's an inevitable happening that the subconscious is opened up as you start to align properly and resonate with the, um, the holographic grid, right? Um, so the holographic grid is accessed more deeply as you are opening up the third eye and utilizing the pineal gland and how it should be utilized um, the problem uh, what is arising that disrupts the uh, opening up of this process is just um, malignment right uh, various different malformations can take over the gene and uh, the gene pool and these malformations can actually have a uh, detrimental effect on the microcosmic uh, level which is the individuality um, which comes from a lot of different things a lot of different programs and um, viruses various things within this area or this region um, you can think of it like as a cancer or something right cancer is like a malformation it overgrows in uh, singular cells or it can have an effect on multi cells um, but can cancer is a, is, a, is a malformation it's an overgrowth that grows into all of the other cells around it and uh, it's just a malform right uh, which can grow into tumors uh, which is just cancer um, and then this can that can uh, find itself in any one of your your uh, organelles right so cancer is not only found on the cellular level it's on the molecular it's on the atomic it's a um, throughout a vast region of, of, of dimensions right um, but cancer is not an ultimate problem either because once you reach a certain level of uh, spiritual knowledge you can actually molecularize uh, spirit into uh, your entire being on a more deeper level and this can actually uh, help you to transcend any type of malform uh, that is um, sequencing itself throughout the microcosmic right so that's just a complex way of saying that you can literally rid yourself of any type of malforms before they uh, manifest themselves in your system okay and this is just be acknowledged this is something everybody has um, this is, animals can do this too, not just humans. Uh, this is something that happens as you activate more of the codons, carbon, the, the, the carbon intelligence within your DNA. The more that you activate that as you just balance yourself with the earth, the more that you open up genetically and as you are opening up genetically the subconscious synonymous, synonymously opens up in that process as well because it's the same thing uh, the moment that you activate the codons which are irrelevantly inactive they um, open you up to being able to do a lot more that is uh, innately within your ability of uh, harnessment right so it's just finding that alignment and being able to open up yourself in resonance of that process is all that is needed that's the only key that's the master key the skeleton key that opens you up to uh, the multiverse of opportunity right uh, which is synonymous with eternal life liberation and, and self-realization burning yourself up and uh, the flame the eternal flame uh, the, the liquid flame right or the electromagnetic fluid the kundalini at the base of the spine rising it up in a double helix pattern 
is uh, opening up the DNA. The DNA falls into petrified states. It coils up. The DNA coils up uh, in gene pool, and uh, this is a petrify. This is a petrification. The moment that the DNA coils up, it crystallizes in a specific way where uh, it can be tempered piezoelectrically by various different technologies and whatnot uh, in your environment. And they can actually uh, use nano development to uh, go in and temper the petrified gene pools because they're coiled up like the Kundalini. And uh, when the Kundalini is coiled up at the base of the spine, it's used for procreation, it's used for reproduction purposes, and it's used for uh, cycling in the uh, eternal life and death cycle. So that's also reflective of what the petrified uh, DNA is doing. Whenever the DNA is in its petrified state, it's uh, supporting the the uh, it's supporting reproduction and it's it's supporting uh, these types of things, right? Which is not bad, uh, but there's more that you can do with it. The moment that the Kundalini. Uh, unwinds itself or, or uncoils itself and rises to the Sahasrara or the crown chakra is the moment that you can uh, bring and find that ultimate realization, that transcendental state, uh, which is the most, this is better than sex, right? Uh, because it's it's deeper than sex, uh, which is one of the most pleasurous things that uh, a human being can, can find himself in. Uh, most definitely a pleasure beyond sex, right? Um, because it, it's universal consciousness. It's 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 death. Death is death is more pleasurable than sex because death is the ultimate release, and the whole uh, transcendent process is just dying. It's coming to death, or even uh, beyond just being able to die in an unconscious state because it's bringing in consciousness and it's integrating the unconscious into the consciousness. Right. So um, once again, the the, the DNA can uh, the DNA petrifies itself like the Kundalini. See, they're same. They're the same patterns. Uh, the Kundalini it, it arises in a double helicity, the black and white serpent. They coil up in cetuses up the spinal cords in a in a double helix, a DNA pattern. Um, and the gene, the, the DNA's pattern is the double helix. They're the same pattern, so they reflect each other. Um, but the DNA doesn't just take up a pure uh, double helix pattern. It does, in a certain sense of perception of looking at it. But it has there's a there's a vast spectral degree of what patternization it actually takes up somatically. So, uh, which is also the same with the Kundalini energy. Uh, it just depends on how you look at it from what perspective um, but it does it's able to petrify itself and, and this forms a certain chrysalis uh, which can be tempered by electricity which they can they can uh, house your karma in that whole temporality sequence um, but the moment that you unpetrify it or the moment that you rise the kundalini uh, then that chrysalis or that crystallization of the petrified coil is is uh, it's liquefied, right? The the, the earth, the petrif the petrification, which is very earthy, the most dense, one of the most dense states in what we're working with right now, is uh, it, it's heated up with the with the uh, eternal flame, and then it's liquefied, right? Then comes liquidy crystals, uh, molecules liquidy crystal molecularizations uh, in, in, in a vast spectrum and then um, it can find itself into higher forms of ether if you continue to rise it because it's burned up in itself in a specific process right and then this is allowing you to uh, open yourself up to higher cosmic connections throughout the galaxy because uh, it's all just fractal um, like the double helix pattern so then um, being able to to 
to open up subconsciously is all within the process of just rising the kundalini energy which is a natural process uh there's no it's not a complex process anybody that's telling you that it is that it is um it's just not made it simple for themselves it's one of it's the most simplest thing that there is to do um all animals are using kundalini energy in their daily activity in their routine activity uh and it's the same thing for you it's just that there are systems that have uh, that are tempering things in a certain way so uh it can be that that people are residing in the, in the bottom three chakras for the majority of their life before uh they're they're dead and then uh they haven't attained they haven't integrated properly right into the higher chakras um which you can easily do the moment that you bring up the kundalini energy to a, a specific momentum uh a specific velocity a velocity um or a force right so you need to moment the, the kundalini energy uh properly to be able to bust through into the higher chakras um once again though you can learn this from animals if you just watch animals uh the animals are gonna are gonna reteach you how to do this because it's already something that you can do and it happens to people spontaneously but um in mass it's just that people are, are in, living in the in the a more dense state in the in at least the bottom three chakras or maybe even just the heart um but there's more that you can do with it right um which the heart isn't a bad place to sit yourself in the heart is the center of reality um and you can transcend maya if you sit yourself in the heart um and work yourself through it in a in a certain way right it can liberate you but opening up subconsciously is literally just um bringing the kundalini energy up to the higher chakras at least the uh, ajna or the third eye right which uh, opens up the pituitary gland which allows for the channeling of energy through to the to the to the pineo and uh, once the energy is flowing in a pineo uh then you can do a lot more or you can open yourself up to uh the holographic matrix on that deeper level but once you're able to do this then you can easily connect with the source uh, of free of creation and uh ineffabilities are going to start pouring in this means it's going to leave you very 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 uh wonderful because of the uh, purity of information that's streaming in to your organism um but the more that you're able to live in that or the more but the more that you're able to to dive into that or into the source and burn yourself up further um the more that you start to lack luster for it and the more that you grow uh passion bliss towards it and this is when uh a whole another degree of mastery comes into the organism or to the being right uh which is what you want so you can fall into wonder uh being wonder wonder filled and this is great that's a great way to do it because it keeps you blissed out but you can deepen the bliss even further if you throw out uh the wonder or even the luster or the 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 passion for it or just passion for life right uh and just keeping an absolute uh equilibrium or an absolute zero it doesn't involve passion um it involves dissolving away into non-existence or the void right uh which you which you further mastery in the void so as you dissolve into um but i mean that's pretty much it for today's video i do thank everybody for watching once again peace out we'll have and have a great evening